Hey guys, what's up? It's a girl Shelly here and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I have a special guest. You want to introduce yourself? Hi guys, my name is Patrice and I'm a makeup artist from yes. Brooklyn. Yes, honey, the best makeup artist in Brooklyn, okay? She better than me and she better than all the rest of them oh. out there. <laughs> So, um, Patrika is a makeup artist in Brooklyn, so if you ever, ever, okay, need your face beats, you already know where to go, I'm going to leave all her Instagram handle, her Instagram, what other social media do you have? Um, I just have Instagram, I have a YouTube, which I need to start posting on, but go follow that, please, it's at Beat by Patrika on Instagram, and Beat by Patrika on YouTube as well. Perfect. So she has Instagram and YouTube, and I'll go ahead and list and link both of her social media handles down below so that you guys can go ahead, check her out, follow her, watch all her videos, make sure you go and tell her that I sent you, okay? Go show some love so she know where my subscribers are coming from. But today she's going to do this super glam, okay? Super glam beat on my face. We're going to do it talk through style so the video is not super long. But I will be listing all the products that she used on my face down below so that you guys can see everything that she used down there in the description box. So without further ado and me babbling. Do you have anything else that you want to say? No, just like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, guys, so to start off my face, look at that beautiful smile. <laughs> to start off my face, she's going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I do believe that this is in the shade Dark Brown. She did go ahead and use some clear brow gel from Essence before just to groom my brows because they did need to be shaved, waxed, thread. I don't know what they need, honey, but they needed something. So <laughs> before she starts, she just used some clear gel, but she's using the micro brow pencil from NYX and this is in the shade dark brown just to carve out my brows. And then she followed that with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. To clean up my brow, she's going to use the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Mocha. And I absolutely love how she did my brows. The only thing is I like to bring my, brow, my brows closer, like a unibrow. She did them a little bit um, spaced out, so that was a little bit different for me. But I absolutely loved how she just took her time and did my brows. And even though my brows needed to be cleaned up, you really couldn't even tell because she did them so well. She then moved on to start cleaning up the lids. Um, my lids can tend to look very hyperpigmented, so she used the P. Louise base in room number three just to clean out and carve out my lids. Then for eyeshadow, she started out by using the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. And the first shade she used was the color Kano. It's a really, really pretty, like, nude-ish, brownish tone shade. It's a little bit deeper, probably like two shades deeper than my skin tone, but it works amazing as a transition color. And I just love how she just took that blending brush and just pat that right in my lid. I love to use that technique as well because it gets the eyeshadow to look super blended and just seamless so i love the fact that she just took her time and blended that shadow right in like her scales are top notch like i'm telling you guys she's amazing
and she deepened up my outer crease a little bit with the color Mino from the same palette and then just blend that right into my crease. To carve out my lid space, she kind of did this V shape upside down cut crease. I never had that on my lids before and when I'm telling you that I absolutely loved it, I never tried that before but now I'm definitely going to recreate that myself because the girl did her damn thing okay and the way how she blended it without like cutting it perfectly but how it came out, I don't know y'all, the girl got some skills man. Then for that nice bright color on my lid, she used the color Ahosi from the same Juvia's Place Warrior palette. It's a really, really light nude color. Um, I don't know, she just did her damn thing and I loved it. <laughs> All right, to add some color to my eyes right around that cut crease, she used the color Jamila from the Saharan palette from Juvia's Place. It's a really, really pretty bright orange color. You couldn't really see, but it kind of looked like the sun was setting or it was like a vibe. Like, I don't even know what she did, but damn, look how good that looks. Ah! All right, to top it off, she just adds some glitter. And this is a uh, glitter from Urban Decay. I think it's the color Distortion. I'm not 100%, but I'll link it down below in the description box. But you guys, my eyes, you can't talk to me, okay? You, you could not talk to me with this makeup look. To line my eyes, she used the liquid liner from e.l.f. And these lashes, you guys, I don't remember exactly what lashes these are, but I think these were one of my beauty supply store lashes i'm not 100 percent sure so i don't want to lie but just know that they were bomb okay for primer she used the milk hydro grip primer on my skin y'all know that's my favorite primer and she just blended that in with a sponge and then following that she used the juvia's place foundation in the shade malawi along with the Juvia's Place foundation brush. For my under eye concealer, she used the Too Faced concealer in the shade Mocha. And this blending sponge is the LA Girl blending sponge. You could get this from Walmart. I think it's $5, honey. It is good, okay? To set my concealer, she used the Laura Mercier translucent. Well, it's not translucent now, Mo Honey, okay? It is called Honey, okay? <laughs> She's using the Laura Mercier um, setting powder in the shade Honey to set my under eye. And then she went in with this Juvia's Place foundation stick. I don't remember what shade this is, but I will definitely link it down below. Leave it down below in the description bar. But she's um, blending that out first, chiseling out my face because I don't know where I get that forehead from or that five head, honey, because that is not even a forehead. I don't know where I got that five head from, but it was looking super big today. So I just, ne I just needed some 
definition back into my face okay <laughs> To set my contour, I think this was the Anastasia Contour Powder in the shade Deep to chisel all the areas that she cream contoured and then to set my concealer and then the rest of my face. She used a very small brush for this process but I'll be going in with a bigger brush which is like different. I'm like learning a couple of things here and there because I would have used a big old brush on it and that powder would have gotten everywhere. But this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deepest. And then to set my face, she's using the Smashbox Setting Spray. Following my setting spray, she went in with some highlights and this is the M Ruby Highlighter. For my lips, she used the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF4. This is the collaboration that they did with Makeup Shayla. This lip pencil is always sold out, honey, because it is that good. So if you guys ever see it in stock, make sure you snag one up. It is beautiful for all skin tones, all deep skin tones, I should say. And then she just went in with some gloss and I don't remember the shade of this gloss but it is one from Anastasia so I'll definitely um, list it down below and then she topped it off with a different gloss from Makeup Revolution and that just set the whole look to a different level honey okay She finished my look off by going under the lower lash line and adding a black liner. I think this is the L'Oreal um, Black Coal Liner. Alright you guys, so as you guys can see, the face is already beat and done and I'll do some close-ups so you guys can see how they look, um, how my entire face look. But tell me, tell me she didn't slay me for the gods, okay? <laughs> Absolutely love how my face turned out. This is actually like my first time having someone not only do my face but actually on my channel so that's a little bit new for me but you will see her again on my video because we're gonna do another video talk through style where we both just sit down and you guys can hear from like different per different perspective of like how I got into makeup how Patrick got into makeup and um, how we both got into makeup and just get to know a little bit about us a little bit more Y'all know a lot about me, but you get to see a new face on my channel, which you will be seeing again. So I'm so excited <laughs> That's about it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and as always I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video and do not forget to go show Patrick some love. Okay. Bye guys Bye.